Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to use cheat codes for Pokemon Sword and Shield on PC with the Yuzu emulator. Now, before we get started with this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, everything you guys will need will be in the description down below. So as you follow along the video, you can also get the products too. Alrighty, first things you guys are going to need, all you need is Cheat Engine, and the latest version is 7.2, so make sure you guys get that. And then next, we're going to be heading over to here, uh, the Fearless Revolution site. And this is, you should get the latest version of the Cheat um, Sheet, which is 1.3.1 as I'm recording this video. If anything higher after that comes, after I uh, make this video, you guys can also get that too. So as you can see there, they have a lot of old versions starting from version 1.0, 1.3, uh, 1.3.1. Like it's, it's constantly um, updating. So yeah. Now, and how this basically works is pretty simple and easy. You open up your cheat engine. And then we do with that, just open this up. And you're going to Pokemon Sword. Just open up that. And then you're going to go to your file. And you're going to open this up. And you see Olive. You're going to attach it to Yuzu. Because, okay. Now, this only works on. Um, obviously when you're playing the game. So as we're playing the game, we're gonna attach it to Yuzu and then we're gonna try to enable the speed hack. It may be a little bit slow due to the fact that I'm using a lot of RAM right now because I'm recording, but we're gonna test it out and see if it works. And, I, and also I'm risking getting copyright claim because Nintendo does not like me showing gameplay of their games on PC using emulation. So I'm risking getting a claim here. So you guys better leave a like. So, all right. So I'm, we're gonna try it out right now, see how it works. Are right, we gonna launch it up? All right. All right, we're gonna check something out here. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is open up Cheat Engine, attach it to Yuzu, make sure you double click it. Double click it is not working. All right, it works. Finally, it took a while. And then we're gonna enable to try to enable the speed hack. Now we're gonna try to push it to the highest maximum um, speed we can. And then after that, we're gonna apply it. Now this is very PC dependent. So it may work for some people, it may not. So let's see if it, Due to the fact that I'm recording, it's kind of a little bit much more slower. So um, let's, let's try to do something a little bit. Try to put it to zero, apply it. See how much bigger difference it is. So when I push it to zero, it completely freezes, which is Kind of makes sense because when I'm pushing something to zero, that means you're not going to move at all. So let's see if we can push it to 200 speed and see if it works. See, now I can move. So the speed hack actually does work. So if you put it to zero, you're not going to move at all. The game freezes. And then when you put it to 500% speed or 200% speed, 
move a little bit faster. But due to the fact that I'm recording and using a lot of RAM, you won't see that much of a significant when you see me doing it. But if you do it, you will see a much, much more greater result. Cause since I'm using so much RAM and I'm, and I have Yuzu on and I'm recording with OBS and I have cheat engine on. So that use a lot of RAM power. So you won't, I won't see um, much a difference as I'm recording. If I record off screen, then I will see a big difference. Cause I use this off screen and I've seen a big difference when I'm using the speed hack. So yeah, there's plenty of other things you can do with this. You can enable money, uh, wild editor. Certain things are locked, but mostly the best thing I suggest using this is for it to, um, using for speed hack and using it for a randomizer. That's pretty much it. You can mess around with the other cheats. I'm really not too fond, fond of them. I rather use PK hacks, but if you want to use this for the speed hack or the randomizer hack, uh, so be it. So I'm, that's basically about it. I just want to showcase you guys how this basically works. It's pretty simple and easy. Um, task to use using cheat codes for a cheat engine for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe, guys, new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Burry Tone. I see you guys in the next one. Peace out.